Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, COD Trainers. Everybody loves a good Call of Duty game, right? So sometimes it is so clear that one team is going to be the winner, but suddenly they just let loose, and the other one snipes the opportunity up. So today, we will talk about such a back in Call of Duty, which was completely mind-boggling. Now before we begin with our video, have you subscribed to our channel? If not, then what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, Search and Destroy can get pretty tense. It is a part of the Call of Duty League, for those of you who don't know. This is a professional esports league and is produced by the devs of the game Activision. It basically is based upon the model of the American professional sporting leagues. It uses city-based teams that are quite permanent and separate ownership groups back these teams, so you cannot buy two teams. Moreover, they are played in the playoffs format, not the promotion and relegation. Paris Legion vs. Toronto Ultra so what happened was that there were two versus three clutches from Methods and Bants. This favored the Toronto Ultra, and they were 2-0 on the series. The Legions were just about to die when they completely changed their strategy. They did some modifications and fought the aggressive Toronto. Finally, we had two versus three clutches from Luqua and Dens, and Paris Legions made it to round 11. Then there was a 5 versus 5 situation at B. It was all Dens and Shocks. They got both 12 kills, two deaths in the final few rounds alone. Finally, the whole game was ended by Shocks with 14 frags. The game was epic, and their style was just amazing, guys! Subliners vs Mutineers These two teams seem to be rivals, to be honest. The number of comebacks they have had against each other just makes you speechless. So the one we are talking about is when Skies clutched a 1 vs 3 in round 7. Yes, that one. Here he seemed to have defied all possible odds and put the Mutineers one point away from winning the game. Usually, some other team would have gone in a frenzy, but not the Subliners. They very methodically fought the Mutineers to have a presence in the match. Temp alone actually had the kills his teammates could get combined. G somehow managed to inspire his teammates and Zuma did the trick. He got the very crucial triple kill in the final round. They won, but to be honest, it was Femp who had brought the game to this point. He set the world record of having 16 kills. Quite something, right? The Subliners always seemed to be at odds of losing. They had fought the Mutineers on the same map and found themselves in a hook. Zuma and Mac then managed to gain power equal to a 2 vs 4 clutches, preventing their team from dying out. This was what was needed to wake the whole team up, and they were all ready to change the game. They won two consecutive rounds and landed in round 11. Zuma took a double kill, and the Sublimers narrowly won the thing. Mac, who was considered a rookie then, got 14 kills, and guys, seven of these were from the last four rounds when they tried to gain their footing back into the game. Dallas Empire vs Seattle Surge This was a home series in London. Dallas was at 1-0 in the Group A match. However, Surge made a comeback in the following match as Enable clutched a 1 vs 2 and led the game at 5-2. This game was actually a comeback after a comeback. The Fallish again shot their shots to gain their footing and won three consecutive rounds. Now the score was 5-all. Now it was the final round and this was crucial. Dallas now had destroyed Surge's comeback and won the fourth consecutive round. This was the best comeback in the Copper Box Arena and it shook the world. These games were on fire. You could hardly take your eyes off the screen. Some results were just shocking and came out of nowhere. So which of these was your favorite match? Is there any other game that should have been included in the list? Out of all these teams, which one is your favorite and which one don't give a damn about? Let us know in the comments down below. So that's it for today, guys. Let us know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends who are just as crazy about the Call of Duty as you. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye-bye.